Shout out to Mark Black for sending me this story. And this is a very, very disturbing story that I'm bringing to you. And all I have to say is this. I only offer condolences to this little boy. As for the person on the left, she can get any and everything that is coming to her based on her own negligence and stupidity. So this woman on the left whose name is, and I kid you not, Lexis Stag. First off, her last name sounds very close to Strag. Shout out to Grinch. And based on what she did to her child, she earned that title of Strag. Second, her first name. Her first name is actually Lexis. Like the car. It's spelled like the car. L-E-X-U-S. It's safe to say that the vehicle that she was driving was not a Lexus, and it's pretty obvious that she has not and will never live up to the name. But this woman is currently in custody right now because she decided that it would be a good idea to play a game of chicken with her children and ended up fatally striking her son, who you see in this picture on the right. Let's get into this article. A Houston woman who was driving a sport utility vehicle toward her children in an apparent game of chicken struck and killed her three-year-old son. My thing is, what in the hell were you thinking playing that game while r driving your vehicle towards your children? And then ended up killing one of them. Lexus Stagg, age 26, was arrested and charged with criminally negligent homicide in the boy's June 11th death. Cars aren't toys and playing chicken with your kids isn't a game. Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg said in a statement, Stagg can be seen on surveillance video reversing a white Lincoln Navigator. Wow, she was driving a a, a navigator do you know how massive a truck like that is to a little child well to anybody for that matter but especially to someone his size just the just the the slightest ding will knock him unconscious and she did enough to kill him and it says in an apartment complex parking lot as her three small children run toward the vehicle prosecutor said when the kids are just feet from the SUV, it moves forward, trapping the three-year-old under the right front tire. Authorities said Stagg continued to drive forward and ran the boy over again with the right rear tire of the SUV, which weighs approximately 5,600 pounds. He was taken to the hospital by ambulance but later died. Stagg initially told police she thought she hit a speed bump when she was going in reverse. Wait a minute. You knew you was driving this vehicle towards your children or your children were running towards you or what, what, however the case may be. You thought you hit a speed bump. Seriously, that's the best she could have came up with. She was arrested Thursday and appeared in probable cause court Friday morning. Prosecutors requested she be held at a $50,000 bail. It was set by the magistrate at $1,500. It is unclear whether Stagg has an attorney. You should have been playing peekaboo with a three-year-old instead of forcing him to try and dodge a 5,600-pound deadly weapon. Sean Terre, chief of the District Attorney's Vehicular Crimes Division that is prosecuting the case, said in a statement, Stagg faces up to 10 years in prison if convicted. Had it been me doing the sentencing, she would get way more than 10 years just for being that dumb and causing her child to die. Now, I went to uh, on Twitter because Mark Black got this article from Dr. T. Hassan Johnson's Twitter page. And one of the first, well, actually not one of the, but the first comment that I read when someone responded to this article it says, crazy thing is that she already had two children removed from her custody in 2013. So this is basically is saying that this woman is just unfit to be a mother.
Now, to all of you man, you man hating uh, mammies out there, I do not want to hear not one of you come into the comment section and say, well, where was the dad at? The point of the matter is this woman. In her all her stupidity. Took a 5,600 pound vehicle that now has been classified as a weapon and no longer as a vehicle and decided to play chicken with her three children and killed her three year old son. Man or not in her life. That was a dumb ass thing to do. And now her son is dead. Her, her, his siblings are without their brother. Only three years old. Because she wanted to be just young and dumb. Now, this is back in 2013 when she had two kids taken out of her custody. That should have been red flags right there. But see, this is that whole thing when I, I was talking about how these court systems cater to the mothers a lot when it comes to the well-being of children. This woman should not have gotten these children back. Because there had to be a reason as to why they were taking from her in the first place back, um, back in 2013. And she's a young parent, apparently, because if she had two kids back in 2013 and she's 26 now, she got started re relatively young. And that's probably her issue right there. But rest in peace to this little boy. I hope that the other two, uh, the other children are far from her care. Well, care shouldn't even be used in the sentence to describe her. But as for her, they need to keep her locked up for as long as possible until she's learned her lesson, if she even learns it. Like, what would make possess, what would make it possess anyone to do something like that? And because she's a black woman, I highly doubt they're going to give her the mental illness plea. So she might as well suck it up right now and just hold this L and that's a huge L that she has to hold. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.